So there is another effect of a recession, which is confidence, which is the psychological recession. Are we thinking ourselves down or are we determined to burst through and get to the other end and get out? Yeah? I think in terms of monetary disaster, we're either right at the bottom or we're within three months of reaching it, or at least knowing what the worst news financially will be. And that seems to me the time to put the foot on the gas and start looking at what's going to come out the other end. Because there ain't much we can do to stop it now because we're in it. Yeah? It's a great movie. Again, one for the baby boomers, not for Generation X. But it's called Grand Prix. It had James Gardner as a Formula 1 racing driver. Anyone remember it? And he won the race, of course he did. It was James Gardner. It was Rockford for the Rockford Finals. He always won in the end. And he won the race because all the other cars in front of him crashed. And the, the, the news interviewer said to him, how did you manage to drive through all that smoke and flames? And like that. He goes, because the guy who wins is the guy who puts the foot down when everything's going to hell around you. And I just thought, yeah, I want to be that guy. <laughs> that's cool. And that's the place that we're in at the moment. Sorry, I can see the two Americans that were laughing at that accent. I do apologize. <laughs> When did it all start anyway? At least a year ago, if not before then. So I think we're pretty much smack in the middle of it. And as I said right at the beginning, if you're now thinking about how to manage through a recession, you're already too late. If you haven't thought about that, you're in trouble because we're in it. And what the rest of this is about can be a little bit about short-term adjustment, but then how do we come out the other end booming? Okay, I don't think total individual giving is likely to drop much further. It's taken a small dip so far. I don't think I'm in economic terms to see much more difference. Okay. Just a few hints and tips. This is mainly about strategy, but I'm, I'm sure just picking out the details out of research I've done will be useful. We're seeing a bit of a tendency of people preferring to give a cash gift at the moment rather than sign up to another DD. Yeah, makes kind of intuitive sense. I can, I can see that's happening. Okay. Um, across our entire client base, war appeals have become utterly unpredictable. Some people, quite frankly, have crashed, whereas some clients have had the highest results they've ever had. Try and explain that. Actually, I think I can. I'll come back to that. Okay? There's also uh, an exaggerated Pareto effect going on. There's always a Pareto effect, 80 20 in fundraising. At the moment, the good people are continuing to get better. It seems to be about the same level of growth as ever before, but it's actually the poorer growers, the worst growers. Yeah? The 80% that are giving up on us. So it seems to be a concentration of the donor base going on. Um, like I say, the, the opinion across the sector seems to be absolutely the same. Numbers of people leaving legacies will stay the same, but the price will drop. Yeah, of course, the price, the average sort of income from legacy will drop to you entirely to house prices. Um, everybody that I spoke to said they were forecasting a drop in 4%. Yeah? Now, I don't think everybody's researched this. I think that Paul and Pat, the Council Research UK, forecast 4%. Everybody read that news report and put the same, uh, put the same forecast into their budgets. That's what I suspect happened. So maybe Paul, since, like I said, it will drop by 4%, could be slightly more accurate. But uh, well, this has potentially got the longest term effect on fundraising and the funding of charities. I'm not going to dwell on what's happened to, to house prices. Um, and the debates about whether they'll start to rocket again or whether they'll, they'll go down to a more asset-based values one. And I'm just not clever enough to, to understand. Trusts and corporates, their values crashed. What do you think will happen? Yeah? <coughs> Investing money in the stock market as a safer option. No, it hasn't been. Their assets have dropped. The profit hasn't quite dropped to the same extent as the assets, but it will because they want to start rebuilding the reserve. So they'll stand less. But interestingly, if you look at the charity equation rather than the fundraising one, something very simple has happened, something that we've been harping on about for ages. Legacy income will drop. Investments have dropped, and they will only recover slowly, and they will recover unpredictability. Uh, sorry, unpredictably. Let's skip back one for a second, please. Thanks. This volatility is not going to go out of the markets for some time. And it demand for charity services will go up. So our two so-called stable sources of income, investments and legacies, are going to go down. At the same time as demand for services go up. So there is only one more variable in there, isn't there? Fundraising is now more important than it ever was. It only ever was the only source of charitable income that you can directly control. So a very quick 
section, just have some short-term actions to help control cash flow through the valley of death, or whatever you want to call it, 